In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Excel to create a stratified sample. It's actually easier than you might think, and often it only requires tools that you're probably used to using. So I have some data here about customers from a grocery store. Um, they're all reward levels, but there's different types of reward levels in this example. I've got the customer ID, so very basic. Average quantity on order. So what that means is every time they come to the store, uh, and make a purchase, they've got a certain number of items um, or quantity of items. So it could be duplicates. You know, if they buy two boxes of rice uh, or two different types of fruit, right? it's counted twice. Now, visits per month. So we have some high frequency customers, okay? As well. So what we're going to do is we want to make sure that we have a random distribution of, let's say, two people from each group because we don't want all this data. Imagine that this is big data and we don't want all that data. We want to take a small sample and test it with some procedures. Okay, so we're going to create... <clears throat> Something called a random function by using the rand be, um, with parentheses. Now, this rand function will generate a number between 0 and 1. And we're just going to drag that down. And so now we have a random number. Now, watch what happens when we do something in Excel. If we move around and double click anything or do another procedure, it's going to randomize this because the function rand is active. So we want to take this data, highlight the data, control C or copy, we're going to right click, paste special values. Okay, so now that formula is gone. It's not in our spreadsheet anymore. And watch, when I move around, nothing happens. That's good. We want that. Because anytime we sort, which is what we're going to do next, these numbers are all going to change. And we don't want that. Okay, so highlight all of your data. We're going to go up to sort, custom sort. So you can go up to data and go to sort. And we're going to sort it by reward level because we want uh, to group, keep these grouped. And that's what stratified is. But we want to add another level and we're going to use that random result. Because random is where we get the random sampling from stratified sampling. So it doesn't matter if you go smallest to largest, largest to smallest, um, it won't matter. Hit OK. And now, see how the customers are all sorted? It's not 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, we still have the reward level nice and clean because that's what we want. But now you can see out of just looking at reward level A, how these numbers increase. Look over here, these numbers increase for B and they increase here. So now we have it randomly sorted based on this level. Now, the problem is if we want this and then we want this from each group, the first two from each group, that's gonna be some manual labor. Okay? So there's a couple of ways to approach this. It does get more complicated. But if you're doing a small project where you just wanna test something out, this would be the way to do it. You would have to do some back and forth. I suggest you do this first. You um, create something new down here, and then you grab all of these values here, being very careful. Okay. So now you have your stratified sample here. You can take this out of the spreadsheet, go to another sheet, paste that in there, and use it if you wish. Okay. Now, imagine you have thousands of rows of data. Or, or even 50, and you have multiple reward groups, actually. Actually, that's the most important piece. They have multiple reward groups, or maybe you have 20 customers in each reward level, but you, and you want six of them. You're gonna, your naked eye is going to start struggling and in introducing errors into your data set. So there's a couple of ways to do this, and again, they do get more complicated. Okay, so the more complicated method, but will help you in the end, I've created what's called a position. So think about the position like in a race or some other contest. First, I'm go I know that there's four in each group. 
So one, two, three, four. Okay, so I typed in four. I'm gonna copy these. I'm gonna highlight them and copy them. And I'm gonna go all the way down here. See how I just grabbed all that? I'm gonna paste them in there and now I have them. That's the first step, okay? Now that I have position, all I need to do is sort by position. I'm gonna grab everything and go up to sort and get rid of all this stuff. I'm gonna go to position, okay? Smallest to largest. It still doesn't matter if you go largest to smallest, because you're going to grab two. So hit OK. And now I have the ones lined up and the twos lined up. Now I can just grab these things and go about my day. So that's how you can stratify a sample. And I hope you learned something.